Condolences have poured in for the Tabor family in recent days, and nearly everyone we spoke to brought up the sons, Scott and Andrew, and their love of hockey. Their teammates played their first game without the brothers, and they weren't going to let their names be forgotten. A normally bustling locker room of 13-year-olds, silent. Only their rituals to put them at ease. The pregame pep talk wasn't about X's and O's, but about their teammate. For 92, Andrew Tabor. It's very hard for me not having him in this room right now. We gotta find a way through. Andrew and Scott Tabor, along with their parents, all died in a cottage fire on Christmas Eve. Both teams love the game of hockey. Andrew's team already missing his presence. Just a great, great kid. Worked very hard in practice. Really had a passion for the game of hockey and wanted to get better every single shift. A hockey locker room is where lifelong friendships are forged. One player didn't just lose his teammate, he lost a best friend. He was such a tremendous kid and he was truly special. It's going to be hard for us to not see him here in the room. And it's the little moments, like carpooling to the games, that he'll miss the most. His parents and him were always there for me. We would always stop and go get a snack or something as well. And, you know, he, they just, they appreciated everything. They loved coming to the rink. One, two, three, dance! Andrew's original jersey was destroyed in the fire, yeah. but in their first game without him in the lineup, they made sure to remember him, along with a moment of silence before the game to honor the two brothers. Coaches hope the players carry lessons with them to do things Andrew and Scott never got a chance to. Everything you do, whether it's you know, you know working to get to the NHL, the highest level of hockey, do it for him. They're playing for more than goals and wins. They're playing for one of their own. Hopefully he's up there giving us strength and watching us and so we can do our best job for him. The fire marshal is continuing the investigation. Officials say there is little left at the scene, mostly rubble, as they try to figure out what caused this fire. The family members' bodies have been taken away for autopsy. Lindsay? That's the CBC's Adrian Chung reporting from Toronto.